everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich here. You like pitching battles in baseball? We might be seeing one of those tonight because these are two strong defensive teams. Well, I agree with you, Doug, 100%, and it might be the first one to one will win this game here. Just thinking out loud, Doc, both of these teams make very few mistakes. It is probably going to come down to a missed assignment or possibly a power play here or there that makes the difference in this game. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. He gets the call to the goal crease despite losing the last game. Kari Lettinen, a decade in the NHL and has emerged from back surgery to become one of the league's finest, first in Atlanta and after in Dallas. Shea Weber, we're all impressed with high miles an hour, aren't we? Can this guy ever shoot it? Over 108, probably higher. Plus Olympic gold twice, an Olympic all-star once, and fun to watch shoot. Pitching this one to Skinner, pitching it to Weber. Snapping a pass to Couture. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Minnesota's given a minor here for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Faroes will send out their power play unit for the first time. I loved going on the power play early in a game. You get to handle the puck, you get to make some plays, really get you into the game. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. A one-timer. He missed the net. Tried to be too fine. That puck is delivered right on the tee for him. He pounds it, and it's wide of the net. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. Minnesota's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. A big collision in the middle of the ice. Well, that's a good open ice hit right there. You catch him with his head down just for an instant. You close the gap and finish the check. On to Oduya. Shoots! That shot came from nowhere. You gotta think that's a game-changing save there. Cleared back out by Upshaw. A long pass ahead, and it's right on the money. He's got a chance. And he missed it. Goal blows low. Loud clang. No goal. Ontario's quick on the draw. Caroms it on to Spalling. Lost the puck, just couldn't get by. It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. Still time on this power play, but not much. Puck picked up by Shea Weber. Slid to Skinner. Flings it. The Pharaohs needed something from their power play and didn't get it. A little over three minutes played here in the first. Both teams are still looking for their first strike. Chip to Upshaw. From the slot of Rister. He got in the lane of the shot and blocked it. He imposed his will. Big blast. He scores! And that is the 300th goal of a wonderful career. Pretty simple, Doc. The numbers don't lie. 300 career goals. scoring's been opened up. We'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back at your heels too long. Ontario's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Propelled to Oduya. Leads that charge into the zone. Moving it to Bergeron. Things are heating up with that hit. Bergeron's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. He cut that one off at the defensive end. 
Tremendous hit. I'd like to see a little more of that from him. Passing one off now to Camilleri. To Butcher. It is hard work here to get the puck free. Puck is thrown to Tarasenko. Pass attempt to Spalling. In with it now. Tries to get it on net. Oh, he got it! You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently a better guy to stop it. Anytime you get near a benchmark, you want to achieve it as quickly as possible. He was able to get it done. He can feel some satisfaction in that. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. Using the point. Has that one measured in his own end. Trying to go to Pouillot. Up to the point. Outstanding body contact. No team worth its name is going to let that go. And a long-awaited whistle. Now they can help him. Oh, I think we're going to see the trainer here. He went down hard after receiving that heavy hit. Period is 20 minutes. We're just past 10. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's one nothing. What a hit that was! Stewart's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. The Squealers guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. The Faroes power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. That one slung back out, and so there's still some more time left on the power play. Directing that one to Couture. Let's it go. Didn't get through. And thrown down to Bergeron. Got it at the point. That one's fired back out, and so more time will go off the penalty clock. To Couture. Gets that one on a cross. Wasn't intentional. Didn't go well. Loose puck. He cleared that puck out of there. Takes it right on the left wing and can move ahead. Looking to Bergeron. Now it's directed to Raquel. That one is pointed to him. Skill play by Hemsky. They worked hard and they got it back out. Good job of penalty killing here by the Squealers to Camilleri. Steps across that line. Loose pop knocked away by Puglia. Gives it over to the point. Shoots one. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Slugged back out again by Spalding. Minnesota's two-minute minor is for shooting the puck over the glass. Enter that on the sheet, delay of game. If you shoot or flip the puck out of play and it doesn't touch the attacking team or the glass, you will receive a minor penalty for delay of game. Ontario's power play goes on a five-on-three for a brief... Maybe enough. Let's see if they can get a pair here. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five-on-three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. Pitching this one to Camilleri. Takes that pass. Here we go. Can start the attack going in the zone. Pitching it to Stewart. Angles it ahead to Krejci. Gives it to the point. Slid back across from one point to the other. And he's held up against the boards. Snapping a pass to Camilleri. He takes that point pass. Wonderful stop. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. And at an angle to Shackenkirk. Slides it to Skinner. Puck at the point. Can't get a shot on. Tries to clear. Out at the blue line. Lifts one. He scores! Terrific power play goal.
This is exactly what you want from your special teams. Get people and pucks in deep, and he scores from the slot. Letnitz in the default butterfly position, but he doesn't cover the net. There's still room there. Face off win, and now what will they do with it? Power play by number 13. My shoots one. A good stick stop. Tarasenko's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Stewart's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. The Squealers will have the man advantage, and this is their first one of the game. Well, the power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. Oduya's looking to leave. Moving it to Tarasenko. Hot loose, he couldn't get by. What a save! The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. Oh, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Good face-off win. Got it back out of the zone. Nice work by Upshaw. Passing one off now to Butcher. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Laid on to Tarasenko. At least he protected his goaltender. Whistle is blown. Penalty called. And the penalty box door swings open. Raquel's going to the box, and the call is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The teams will go four on four. Do you take risks offensively, or do you just play defense and limit mistakes? I hope they take chances myself. They should be really confident as they enter the power play again. You've already got one power play goal in your back pocket. You'd like to do it again. And holds on to that buck to get the whistle. Over four minutes still showing on the clock this period. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. A slot wrister. Oh, and a great opportunity denied by that pad. He throws it there. May not have intended it, but it hit it. The squealers skated up on the side. Shot on. Stick to side. As soon as the shooter drops his head to release the puck, he's already in the butterfly, and so he can turn that aside easily. Nice face-off work. The Pharaohs have left the defensive zone. Feeds the point. On to Oduya. Open ice hitting is not dead. Solid hit in the middle of the ice. Those are old-fashioned hits. We don't see many of those anymore. Just inside the line. Hamilleri's just thrown his team on his back today. He just jumped back on the ice where he's been spectacular. All over the place and all over the score sheet, too. Takes it to the corner. And angled to Stoner. Gives it on a cross from the point. Great job in his own end with that interception. Good place to shoot from. That puck hit him on the way to the net. The Pharaohs didn't do well on that power play like they did early. Puts one on. Save. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. What a tremendous hit. These games are tough to play. You've got to have your head on the swivel because wherever the traffic's coming from, it's going to arrive in ill humor. He scores! That's three in a row.
of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. I think when he takes a look at this on video, he's going to see he was in really good position, and he just wasn't able to stop a perfect shot. We go down to the benches. It's Ray Ferraro. Minnesota's going to have to finish this one out shorthanded. They're down a man on the bench, and the injured player will not return. Slid to Camilleri. Oh, broke it up. Karam pass to Bergeron. Routine save, but a necessary one. A brilliant save at the horn. Period one is over. A dominant period for one squad. Fans, tonight our world famous Glamp is dropping $50 gift certificates. Keep your eyes to the sky for tonight's big prize. Lettinen's had days when he's been spectacular, but this is not one of those. An example there as intermission begins. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edson? Ontario's had a strong game so far. They pushed the attack and scored goals to take the lead. There's still more hockey ahead, so they'll need to continue playing like that if they want to maintain their lead. Second period has begun. Let's see if the coach had something to say that might change the score to make it a little closer. I don't know how he got up after being on the receiving end of that hit, just gliding back to the bench now. Shoots one. And an absolutely sick save there. Interplanetary. Woo! Chip to Oduya. Looks ahead to start something. Gains that offensive line. Took that away in his own zone. Stole that pass away in his own end. And he dumps it in. Trying to relieve some of the pressure. Puck is thrown to Bergeron. Fantastic shutdown. Makes that play deep. Pass attempt to Camilleri. Is able to move on in. Lifts one. Good pad save. To Puglia. Heads along the boards. Dogged determination there by Puglia. Great stick. No chance on that pass. Minnesota's winging it at neutral ice. Right in front. Great save, point blank. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. Well, you always want to finish your check, and if you have a position to deliver a real solid lick, you're going to take it. But man, he goes down hard here. Weber's done an excellent job over the last couple of games defensively. Where he stands out the most is his ability to get into the shooting lanes and block shots. Quickly off the stick. That puck struck him in front. He gains the zone. Propelled to Dowell. Trying to go to Hemsky. And he steps across the line. Shoots one. Brings a shot. Wonderful stop. Just over nine minutes remaining in the second. There have been three goals in this game. They've all come from one team. Directing that one to Yurko. And that puck landed in the bench here. It's pretty cool how excited people get for a four-ounce chunk of rubber. But getting a game puck is exciting. The funny part is the players are around these things all the time, and it doesn't mean anything to them, so they just flip it up over the glass. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. Back to the point. And at an angle to Stewart. Nicely received at the point. Pass to the blue line. Forks it to Krejci. To the front. Pitch to Tarasenko. 
puck controlled now by the defense. Sends it back the other way. Turned away with the stick. Look out, the hits are coming. If you love physical hockey, this is where you want to be. Koska's position here allows him to deliver a devastating hit. That faceoff is one. Really good cut of the pass. Driving in from no man's land. Let's it go. Outstanding save with a glove. Looking to Camilleri. Terrific determination by Shea Weber. And now it's directed to Yurko. Laid on to Puglia. Oh, stick save. Knocked off the puck. Shoots one. Well done with that pass. Good job defensively done there. That takes some pressure off with that defensive play. Takes that pass. Players tired, about to get a rest. Seconds to play here, still in the second period. Gets across, looks over his options. Pass, cut, strong play. Doc, they've been turning the puck over way too much. Now they're starting to press as they try to get back to the game. Pitching this one to Upshaw. What a terrific opportunity. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. Bishop's been magnificent between the pipes. Here's an example as we had to break. We are entering the third period. Based on the first two, what are you expecting to happen? Minnesota's turnovers in the first two periods, Doc, are the direct result of this score. They're lucky still to be in this game. Opening faceoff of the third period has started it. Pitching it to Weber. Snapping a pass to Shattenkirk. Gathered up again by Bergeron. The battle for possession continues. Solid defensive play. Defensive zone, an important play. Great deep there. Save! Terrific reaction to a scary shot. Moving it to Tarasenko. Tried, but it didn't work. Read that play in his own end. Carries it on in from center. That pass along the boards. And the pickup. Passing one off now to Camilleri. Right to the point. Good shooting place. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. There's not many saves easier than this for the goaltender. He gets his blocker on it. He's in good position, and he deflects this away. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Score! Another step in the road back. They're down by two. Upshaw's decision was pretty easy. This low on a slot, just snap it off, and he did. Bishop's move to the stick side is pretty aggressive, but he doesn't get there quick enough to stop the shot. The Squealers have gotten this game back to a two-goal deficit for them. There's still time here in the third. Let's see what happens next. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Number nine, Scotty Upshaw, assisted by number 13. Decides he wants the corner. Terrific save, terrific opportunity. Now that's a timely save, a beautiful one. Save. 
Gathered up again by Upshaw. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Wow, what force in that one. I think he just tattooed him on the boards. Buck is thrown to Camilleri. Let's it go. Got a stick on it. He's got it. Still held in. Solid work there by Stoner. Moving behind and considering. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Camilleri's feeling it tonight. Two goals so far. To Yurko. Brings it in for an attack. Skill play by Spalling. Good work along the boards. Hammers one. That shot went badly wide. Boy, that puck was really humming off the stick. Unfortunately, it missed the net badly. They've got it. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. The Pharaohs are given a hooking minor. Well, what he was trying to do is try to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Squealers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same basic tenets. And it's to simplify things. Get it to the point, shoot it, get traffic, retrieve it, shoot it again. The Pharaohs have a delay of game penalty for shooting the puck over the glass. He was trying to play it off the glass, but he missed. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five on three power play, and it begins now. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. Five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. 12 minutes, 54 seconds. They must retreat and start back again. Let's it go. That went off the pad. That is up close and personal. That's a physical brand of hockey. A whistle and a rest. The Penguins are up next for these guys, Doc, and they'll need to keep their heads down and focus on executing their game plan if they're going to come out with a W. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Camilleri's not feeling too well right now after that big collision. For all you young hockey players out there, you cannot put yourself in that position. Good faceoff win. Sends to the point. Scooped up by Shea Weber. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Brings a shot. Big point blank save there. Great display of goaltending right there, Doc. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was, because that shot had no chance of going in. Just over six minutes remaining in the third. Lead was three. It has become two. And the clock still shows time remaining. Time enough to get a pair, maybe three. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. on the bench as the power play is able to get on the board. The Squealers have done a great job of giving their fans hope. They fought back and cut the lead to just one. Minnesota has won that faceoff in the neutral zone. By number 17, assisted by Let's the shot go. What a power play these guys have.
Well, that's nice work on the power play. Down the goal, they get this opportunity to tie the game up, and they don't miss. The Squealers have gotten an enormous goal, tying this game and a bumpy ride to the finish here in the third. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. At the point of drive! Made that stop. This is tiring labor. Lots on that to Butcher. Shooting! Big pad save! Wonderful block. Pass attempt to Tarasenko. Stood up all the way and blocked it. Trying to go to Tarasenko. Minnesota's on the move up the wing. Decides he wants the corner. Stood him right up. Walks the blue line. And a save. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. A minute to go. Will this be settled or need OT? A textbook stick save. Tarasenko's been a clutch performer for his team for the last couple of weeks. His point streak has stretched on longer than most people thought it would, and it has no end in sight. Spalling's lost another one. Minnesota's carrying it up the wing. He finished his shift right in the middle of the ice. Right over top of him in the middle of the ice. That is a great hit. In the slot! Outstanding point blank save. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. Skates out with it. 31 to go. Recollected. Throws it. Missed the net. The clock shows 24. Using the point. He's got it. Snaps one. Save. Wow, what a hit. Big padded shoulders. That was one. He'll get the number off. Gains the zone. Takes that pass up the boards and stays. Takes a shot. Great save. Three periods didn't prove a thing. It's going to take overtime. The Stars will have to give more, and so will everyone else. Tarasenko's goal takes us to overtime. That's where we'll be when we come back. He's absolutely free, so what do you want? Sudden death overtime has started. If no one scores here, we'll go to a shootout. Puck loose now picked up. Minnesota's carrying on up the wing. Score! Game over. Overtime winning goal. Game over. When it gets to OT, it seems like the smallest thing can happen and then go wrong for a team. In this case tonight, it went right for one extra plays that make all the difference. Terrific contest. Two teams gave their very best. See you next time.